mean, I guess maybe it's stifles, 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 stipples. <laughs> I quite like it. It's very glowy. I don't know if that will go away. Oh, <laughs> my pooch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Beauty Lab, where we test the latest skincare, hair care, and makeup. Subscribe to see more videos like this. So today we're testing something very scary to me. It is the Bondi Sands Self Tan Contour Kit. The tan is actually sold separately. So in the kit, um, you don't get your own tan. So that's quite good because you can choose um, whichever one that you like, your favorite brand, your favorite color. But today we're going to be using Bondi Sands um, self tanning foam and I'm using the shade light medium. Let's open it. Let's just open it and see because again, I, I haven't looked into it properly. So here is the brush, the little detailed end and the bigger end. And this is the heart shaped pan. Ooh, okay. So this is fun. It's like the silicone, it's glow time heart matte kind of comes with like a little tray inside if you will. Okay, so step one is to pump or spray your favorite Bondi Sands self tanning product into the Bondi Babe heart pan. Just like that, I've done three pumps. Okay. This is quite big for, I've got, got that big of a face I feel like. Maybe I do. Don't write in the comments. I'm going straight for the forehead because I have a big forehead. It needs a lot of contouring. I'm just going to do it up into my hairline. I probably could have gone with a darker shade of tan, but if it deepens, I might look crazy. So I'm applying this onto a bare face. So I've got no foundation or concealer on. Um, and that way you kind of have the tan on all the time. It's like permanent makeup almost. So I'm putting it on my double chin area because I want to snatch jawline. It's not buffing because it's got a lot on it. I feel like I can see it though. No, that's not where I'd contour. And that's the thing, because it's um tan, you can't use your fingers because your fingers are gonna then get orange. Um, that's all with the bigger end of the brush and then I think when I go into my face toward the center more oh, Definitely need to blend that This is super easy to use Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the smaller side of the jewel ended brush and contour my nose I go down the bridge of my nose. But I just, I don't know when to stop. And I, because there's now fake tan on this, it's like I need another brush to then get off the excess because this isn't gonna get the excess off. So I feel a bit like, let's just give me a bit of draw. I'm gonna switch to the little one to be cautious. Try and build the colour up a little bit, but I don't know if this is gonna get darker with time. I think that's how time works. Final step is to leave on skin as per self tanning product directions. Um, rinse jewel ended contour brush with warm water, obviously to clean it, and using the textured side of the Bondi Babe heart pan, remove all product excess ensure brush is fully dry before next use so on the other side if you flip it over you um, when washing your brush you can use the textured side here and it acts as like a brush cleaner so that's great my final thoughts are this is a really nice brush it feels nice to apply I would use this for my foundation this is would make a great like contour brush for these bits for contouring day to day and then also like even a concealer brush. Would I contour with fake tan on a regular? I don't think so. I think it's a bit more of a faff than I'd want it to be. But I think that if you're like looking to get a face tan before holiday or just during winter, you're just feeling a little bit like 
and look a bit dull, then I think it's a good last, long lasting way to, to look a bit more alive. It's really nice and glowy and light. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything, which with other contour can start to build a bit heavy. I don't really wear foundation. So for me, the idea of really literally tinting your skin rather than being a product on top is definitely a plus. As a tan novice, I'm a little bit scared about the tan like developing and if it's gonna look a lot darker, but I'm hoping that will just give me more of a sculpt and not, and that I blended enough that it's not gonna be streaks. So I'm quite a fan. So at the moment, admittedly, I do kind of look a bit muddy, um, but that is normal as you would when you kind of first apply your fake tan, but once you wash it off after it's processed, then you'll be glowing. So this has been super easy to use, um, and I would highly recommend this to anyone who kind of regular fake tans their face. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one, bye!